Hello, hi, I'm Ben, and this is Hot Hardware. Uh, today, uh, we're taking a look at the NVIDIA Jetson AGX Orin development kit. This is uh, the latest top of the line um, AI, machine learning, and robotics development kit from NVIDIA. Uh, it's based on Ampere technology with some uh, ARM 64 cores uh, running Linux, Ubuntu Linux 20.04 long-term uh, support LTS version. Uh, so what we're doing here is we're demoing uh, NVIDIA's Riva ASR, or Automated Speech Recognition. It uses machine learning and some pre-trained models that, that uh, automatically translate uh, what you say into text. And you can see that it's doing that on the screen here now. Um, I could talk about tech all day, but what I really want to talk about is this. That is Harmony and Voice Leading. It's the second edition. It was published in 1989 or something like that. And it's the book I used in music theory class. It's uh, It covers functional harmony and it covers voice leading. Uh, basically what those two things mean is that given any given key in can you know what in western music uh, any given key the notes want to move to certain scale degrees or certain certain spots on the major scale and they want to use specific chords have specific functions uh, that all lead back to home i don't want to get into all the details there uh, what i really want to talk about and you don't want to talk about music theory for uh, try to jam um, like eight semesters of theory into uh, a five minute video. What I really want to talk about is the way that music school made me think. Uh, it made me think that there was really only one right way to make proper music, and it really had nothing to do with the music that I enjoyed. Uh, so that was kind of a bummer. Um, what I've learned since then, and if you're thinking about music school, uh, you should learn this ahead of time, is that it's just one way to think about music. One way. Um, if you enjoy specific types of music or different genres, which I do, uh, learn about the way that those work too. Uh, we'll never talk about four chord loops in a, uh, in a class setting that uses this book, but you will think all day about different four chord loops if you're listening to popular music. Uh, especially today, you know, there's uh, that four chord progression that everybody knows. Um, there's a bunch of others, too. Um, really, if you play an instrument or you sing, you should definitely learn the theory behind those things. But they're not the only way to think about it. I encourage you to just experiment. And if it sounds good to you, then it probably is good. And if it sounds good to others, then it's absolutely good. There's nothing wrong with any kind of music, even if it doesn't use the specific functions for each chord that this book outlines, or the melodies don't follow the specific rules laid out in this book. It's just one way to think about music. Um, so NVIDIA's uh, ASR is just dumping, or Riva ASR, excuse me, is just dumping uh, the text that I say out to this terminal window and you can see that it's doing a pretty fine job um, Especially since it's completely in real time. Uh, I think that NVIDIA's real uh, Purpose for this is for conversational AI. You have service robots that you need to ask questions of they need to give you responses and uh, Riva ASR is just one part of that along with the conversational AI that interprets the text and the speech synthesis engine that takes the text that the robot would say and turn it into a voice. I uh, hope you've enjoyed uh, this little look at ASR and uh, check the links in the description uh, because I'm sure the full write-up for this will be linked there. Uh, you'll definitely want to check it out. Thanks, I'm Ben and have a good day.